Hi everyone, it's me Melanie from Hamera Stardust and happy Ruby Tuesday and also happy Halloween because I know this will be posted on Halloween. So for today's project, I actually had a, I had a journal that I've been working on for this project, but I don't, I haven't been feeling well. Apparently my wisdom teeth are starting to act up at the tender age of almost 38. So I have been in a lot of pain. So I haven't been able to finish that one. So I had to come up with a quick something because I didn't want to not do a project. And I've been saying for a while that I was gonna make a, how I made like a tutorial, sort of like a, how I made these journals that are like um, no sew journals. And I thought this would be a great opportunity because it's a quick, easy little project that you can do and you don't really need much of anything. Just like some masking tape or washi tape or any sort of tape. Except, um, remember that if the tape has, it's like the clear tape with the shiny, you're not gonna be able to glue things on top of it very well. So I have some scraps here, some stuff that I have, that I had that I think might work well for this. And some scrap fabrics and stuff and scraps of paper from a sale I had recently and I'm using actually this is from the tax kit because I like to put tags like this one the first page is a tag here see I haven't finished it I keep working on it this is I have videos on my reels on Instagram and I think maybe on the shorts here working on this one I'm not sure and on this one also this one just has two little tags on there but it goes like this and so you can check those out if you want to see more on those so I am using the tax kit a few I printed out a few tags that I thought would work well with this and a few pages from the rosy kit this is a fairly new kit digital i didn't print them all out because i wanted to use more the violet sort of color because today's halloween and i wanted it to look a little darker right so i printed out ones that are like more neutral from that rosy kit because i really like like i really like this when they look like that so but the kit is more like a red sort of reds and neutrals it's really pretty <clears throat> sorry and then we have the violet kit which i will be is the one that i mainly wanted to use for this it's so pretty i printed on different types of paper some of them i printed double so i can have them smaller especially since this um journal is sm a smaller journal you know they it's like i guess you would say like a mini journal i don't make them too big even though you could if you wanted to mine is not that big this is pretty small see it's so cute haven't finished this one and they're so easy to work on and they're so easy to make so let's make one okay so i cut out some pieces that i thought i might want to use from the violet kit and the rosy kit and then i cut this piece from the violet kit that i cut that i printed to one to a page because i thought it was like the same size as this one which it is and maybe it could replace this one the darker color i like better so yeah so i think that's what i'm gonna use there um so yeah let's just start oh i should if i want to use the tag as a page maybe i should cover the back now um so that oh look the tag fits perfectly in that pocket actually so I might just do that because I don't want it to have 20 pages. Then it's too much. It's too, 
it becomes stressful to use and that's exactly what I'm what these journals are for they're easy to make and easy to work in because you, you don't it's not a lot of space you know okay so let's just start on it um let's choose what finally what pages we're gonna work with and I chose this one for the back and I definitely want to use the bag this one is a maybe because one two three it might be just easier to work with the easiest ones there you go I don't think I'm gonna use the packaging on this one because I don't want it to be too bulky and let me see how many is here this would be one two three four five six seven sort of kind of also you can always just add pages since your the binding is done with tape i think i'm gonna try to choose how because i like it to be different Let's see. Let's start binding it together. And I'm gonna use this masking tape. Um, this one's thick. In the other ones, I used. In this one, I used a masking tape that is like washi tape because I couldn't find this masking tape. So you can see there. But I prefer this one because it's neutral color, so you don't have to. Um, in this one, I believe I used that one, but this one has a different binding that I'm gonna not do. Like, no, this one actually has the binding that I'm gonna do. What am I doing? So one of the bindings that you can do is doing little hinges, like two, one, or, or three hinges, and then two hinges. But I found that one to be, which is what I did in the little one, and it's. It, it, it works great but it's a little more tedious to do and then to figure out if you have smaller and bigger pages to figure it out it's a little just more it takes more time and I just want to hurry up I, I, you know the whole point of this is to make a book that is easier to easy to do so if you're a beginner especially this is just easy you just also, you can use paper, by the way, and just use paper with glue to do this binding if you don't have masking tape. Um, I know here they have masking tape at like the dollar store, but I don't know. I have it because I bought it for crafts. I if, if I weren't doing crafts, I probably wouldn't have masking tape at my house, so I don't know. But yeah, and then just... Also, what's good about masking tape is that it's sort of like paper on top, so you can glue paper over it with no problem. And also, you can peel it off things without damaging too much. And this one that has like a color like this is just easy. It's, um, it's like a neutral color, so. And don't put it two together, so. Because then it will be like harder to um, 
I don't want to put it too separate or too together because then it's like harder to fold. But I also don't want to overthink it because I want to show you just that it's easy. So there you go. That is the first page that I put together. And we decided to put the bag after that. So. Um, is the bag on the right? I want this one, this side forward. And it's gonna be a little sticky, like the part, that, but you can cover that, like I in the other one. In one, I covered it with fabric, and in another one. I don't remember if I covered it in fact, but it's just, it really doesn't matter because the sticky might go away. The whole point of this is to sit down and make you a quick little journal that you can have some fun with. Personally, this helped me um, when I was like stuck. I was like having like writer, like not, not writer's block, but you know like how you get like, you lose your creative juices sometimes. It really helped me out with that so you're gonna be doing this one you can also use fi fabric to do the binding if you have um clear tape you could use that but just remember that you can't really glue, it's harder to glue things on top of clear tape, so that might be harder for you. You might have to use, unless, if you wanna cover that part where you have the clear tape, then you will wanna use like a, a glue that's gonna work over that. Oh, I like that envelope up there, actually. Do you guys like Halloween? I like Halloween because I like scary movies, like mostly ghost movies. So I like that in Halloween they start playing all the ghost movies and scary movies and TV shows. Like I really like anthology, I think it's called, like when the different episodes is like a different story. So I, it's one of the reasons why I like Halloween. Obviously the candy and dressing up is always a plus. My son is gonna be more Luigi, Luigi. He's gonna be Luigi this year. I used to really like, like my partner and I used to love Halloween, like the day after we would go to Walgreens and get all the candy that they just put in clearance. Cause they put, but they don't do that anymore. They don't put like things in clear, like in clearance like before. Like we would get bags of candy for like $2. Sometimes you could get candy for like a quarter. Like if they were Halloween themed, but they're not doing that anymore. Every year it just got more and more expensive and people like cashed on to the fact that they were gonna put it on sale, so. <laughs> this I wanna ink. So give me a moment to do that. So yeah, my wisdom, well, it's, the dentist set is one that's giving problems, but I think they're all gonna probably need to come out. I think they're all probably giving problems because I already had one taken out like six years ago and let me tell you it was like a traumatic experience because my minds are impacted so it took it took a long time to heal i was like a month with my face really swollen so i'm not looking forward to whatever's gonna happen this time and they gave me the appointment for march which is fun for me right 
to wait that long in pain. But I don't really have a choice, so. <laughs> I'm thinking if I'm gonna put this here or if I want to, cause I think this would look cool here. Okay, I think I've chosen this. I think this would be cool. Maybe, right? Um, I think. <laughs> what I'm trying to see is, cause I think let's just put this one. And I feel like I should have said this first, but because maybe the all the tape should be don't make the tape as big as the page make sure try to make sure like maybe the tape it will be like um if you want to cover the spine with something like fabric like then maybe make sure that all the tape will be like let's say from here to here so that the fabric will cover that space even if you have a shorter pace in the front like I do because I like layers so I want it like this so. so that's what I'm gonna try to do here Okay, so it's like this, and if I want to put the fabric, I should do it before this. This one's going to be attached to this side anyway. And I was thinking I could attach it with fabric. But since this part I haven't covered, I'm not going to do that. I might just put fabric over it later. So let's do the fabric first, like, or maybe a little lace. This looks cute actually. This is a really old lace and you can see like the color of it. It's like again this is not a step that you need to do and you could use paper or whatever. I'm just doing it because so that it will cover the stickiness of the tape on this side. And also just make it a little more stable on the spine and I don't put glue on the spine I just put glue on the front and on the back so this is not glued to the spine so that way it's flexible you know Okay, so this is um, from Ruby and Pearl from the Violet Kit. It's just a little flower. I cut out like a little flower from it. It's like a bigger piece. And that's perfect right there. So then we're gonna put this one on here with some masking tape just like you've been doing. Almost as if it were a tip in, but. And when I cover this page, I'll probably maybe put some fabric over the tape so it looks prettier. That looks great. I could continue to work this here on the channel if you guys would like to see that. 
Oh, I had... I had taken out these words because I wanted to put my... Ha, love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I think I'm gonna use the polka dots. So I left this part like this so we can maybe put something in there even. So it's gonna, you can open this part like that. And then you're gonna have inside your journal. And that is it. So there you are. And I love it um so yeah i'm gonna put the links to ruby and pearl in the description box or her links to all her stuff so you can go check that out oh that's perfect the tag in there because i was like i didn't even use the tags but that's really actually perfect um and so i'm gonna have all her links in my description box this kit that i used well the yeah i didn't use the rosy one even though i took some stuff out this one is the violet one and yeah go check around check out or her digital check out all the other ladies in the design team i'm gonna just have all those things in my description box and as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye happy halloween